Though the great early theologians of the early church in the Middle Ages did believe that people could only be saved through faith in Jesus Christ, they did not therefore believe that only Christians were capable of virtue. They made a very important distinction between what were called classical virtues and theological or Christian virtues. The Christian virtues were faith, hope, and love, as in 1 Corinthians 13. And the belief was that only through the special or direct revelation of Christ in the Bible could we truly seek those higher virtues of beauty, excuse me, of faith, hope, and love. But those were not the only virtues. They believed that there were four classical virtues that even pre-Christian pagans were capable of achieving without the direct revelation of the Old and New Testament. They called these virtues classical virtues, and they learned them from reading Plato's Republic and Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. In those works, pre-Christian works, Plato and Aristotle identify as the great virtues courage, temperance or self-control, justice, and also uh, wisdom or prudence. And they understood, as the Christians understood, that people did not need the Bible to understand these. These were things that we could understand through general revelation, God speaking to us through the majesty of nature, or speaking to us through our own conscience, or through the great mythology and great literature of the higher pagan writers. Now, Lewis wrote often on the four classical virtues, particularly in Mere Christianity, Book 3. And even though there is no official list of, or rather I should say, ranking of the four classical virtues, it's not one is more important than the other, Lewis often argued that really the most essential of the virtues is courage. Why did he say that? He said courage is virtue at the sticking point. It is important because if you don't have the virtue of courage, you will not be able to practice the other virtues. As Lewis says, even Pontius Pilate was merciful until it became risky and the Jews looked like they were going to riot and get him in trouble with the Romans, and then he gave in and turned Jesus over to them. So if you don't have courage, if you don't have endurance, if you don't have the willingness to stand against the crowd, you're not going to be able to practice temperance or justice or wisdom, and perhaps not even faith, hope, or love.